Welcome back to ETV. Well, Cars 2 races into theaters this weekend. Will it be another classic animated tale? Here's Sean McBride, the movie guy, with his take on it. How'd you like to come and see the world with me? You made it! The much-anticipated Cars 2 tells the story of Lightning McQueen, the race car from the original Pixar movie. He's off to compete in the World Grand Prix, and he takes his friend, the tow truck Mater, along for the ride. Yeah, ladies, Mater's fitting to get funky. Good-hearted but simple Mater gets himself caught up in a spy adventure. We need your help, Mater. You better. Is the Pope Mobile Catholic? Cars 2 is full of action and silly puns, plus Mater's non-stop shenanigans. Hey, if you like Mater, then you'll probably love Cars 2. It's a good cartoon for the kiddies, but disappointingly, nowhere near the quality of the great animated films that Pixar Studios have been producing over the past few years. Elizabeth, can I like, grab a bite sometime? You still a gym teacher? I am, yeah. Then no. Certainly not for the kiddies. Bad Teacher stars Cameron Diaz as a... Well, a bad teacher who's trying to seduce the hunky substitute played by Justin Timberlake. Bad teacher is gleefully naughty, very R-rated, but really not all that funny. Okay, I suppose you can make the argument that fans of black humor will enjoy watching Diaz play against her good girl type. It's the only arguments I need, Sean! Okay, so that's what's through the movies this week. I'm Sean McBride, the movie guy for ETV. Joining us now, Sean McBride, the movie guy. Tell me about Cars 2. I will tell you about Cars 2. I wish I could tell you better things about Cars 2. Oh, no. you know? Here's the thing. Pixar animation, they just haven't made a bad movie yet. And Cars 2 is not a bad movie, right. so don't, don't get worried about it. But it is just not a classic. It's not WALL-E or Finding Nemo or something like that. It's really more of a cartoon. It's a silly, you know, Mater is actually the star of this show. And so Larry the Cable Guy, I think a little of his humor goes a long way. And for him to really dominate this film, just uh, that's a little too much for me. So, But it's got lots of action. It's big and vibrant. I suspect kids, particularly young boys mm -hmm. and younger kids, will enjoy it. Like, say, it's cartoony, it's over the top. Uh, they'll enjoy it. It will win the weekend at the box office. It's just something of a disappointment oh. given the Pixar. You know? Yeah. Okay, how about Bad Teacher? Bad Teacher is also a little bit of a disappointment. Um, <laughs> you know, it's Cameron Diaz going for her dark comedy side. Um, I appreciate that she wanted to do that, but let's face it, it's just not really consistently funny. Uh, a little bit of a disappointment. But, but a much better film over at the Flicks this week, The Tree of Life. Now, I, I must admit, I haven't seen it yet, but The Tree of Life won Cannes, mm -hmm. and it is the film that's probably the front runner for the Oscar, the best picture. Really? And it's coming to Boise this week, so Tree of Life, Terrence Malick, he's the guy who's made five films in 30, 40 years, hmm. so he you know, doesn't make a lot of films, but when he does, it's usually something special. Tree of Life, certainly look for it on almost everyone's top ten list. Yeah, Sounds great. DVDs? DVDs this week. There is one good one, uh, The Adjustment Bureau, which I think is uh, a lot of fun. Matt but Damon. Matt Damon, right. But also Unknown with Liam Neeson, Cedar, Cedar Rapport, uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kids uh, for the Kitties. Um, so sort of a, a, a hit and miss week on home. Anything on theater? Theater, we're going to have to skip this week. We don't have time, but uh, I will say it's the final weekends for Fleming at Stagecoach and the final weekend for uh, South Pacific. Well, sounds great. Thank you so much, Sean. We All appreciate right. it. Check you next week, then. Stick around. More ETV coming up next.